if they start complaining, just motion yeah. and we'll. Yeah, and then you have to you have to take that bottom thing off the phone when we do that. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm Mary. I'm Linda. <laughs> Welcome. Good morning, with sisters in the kitchen. Uh, we're trying to get this operation started yeah, this morning. We we, um, <laughs> we want y'all to be able to hear us. Yeah. So um, we don't want to. If there's anybody that says they can't hear us, we're just going to unplug your mic. The mic. Is, where's your mic? Did it fall? <laughs> Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Where's my little deal go? I have no idea where it went. Oh, there it is. Y'all, <laughs> men, these mics just don't work. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, here, I'll fix it for you. Um, we're going to be doing ham dressing this morning. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> sure they don't want to hear me talk about not getting this mic ready okay um we're we're so excited and um we hope that uh, for all our new viewers if you haven't been to our new website we hope you'll go take a look at it we're very proud of it yes we it's, are um, it's easy to navigate it's um www.pinkymalls.com pinkymallskitchen.com <laughs> right <laughs> and uh it should take you and you should see our logo and if you'll scroll down it'll uh have our store and then if you want to check out the membership you can check uh click on that and uh, we hope that you will check it out yes yes we're very proud of it and uh we've got a lot of exclusive content on our membership so and we have a lot of people that are happy with it right. and we thank we right. thank all of our members and we thank all of y'all that watch us yes, on here absolutely uh, we uh we love that you watch us and we hope that you'll continue to be sure to like our page make sure you're on this page when you're liking and um tell your friends about us yeah. right 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 yes yeah, share our share our page we love y'all now we're gonna get started making yeah. Linda's famous hey <laughs> Ham and dressing. dressing. Mama Ham made dressing. this yes. when we were Mama. kids yes, she did. so much. And um, uh, I love ham and dressing. The only too. thing you have to be is you have to be careful with salt. salt. Because ham right. is salty. Right. And uh, so you need to be careful with that. Right. So I think we're going to move over there okay. and yeah. get the broth started. Yeah. And um, for our members, if you're following along on um, the recipe online, um, You'll see that. Um, you'll see exactly how we do it, and you can follow along with us. So, Mary, if you'll, you if you don't mind, if you can get okay. that started, okay. I'm gonna. Um, I'm putting uh, chicken broth in a um, pan that's already uh, been heated up, so it wouldn't. Um, the pan. If you heat your pan first, it makes a big. It difference. makes a difference because it, it doesn't take as long for it to heat up. And um, some of you may wonder why I'm cooking the broth with the onions and the um, celery in it separate. Um, I like to have some broth when I make the gravy, and I'm not going to make it on the show right now. We've made gravy lots of times. But I don't want onions and celery in my gravy. So if you don't mind it, just put all the broth in your big pot right. and cook it that way. But I'm going to cook this in the microwave for about uh, six minutes, and I have some minced onion and some very finely minced um, Now, Linda, celery. do you want me to turn the broth up a little bit now? Yes, yes. You can, thank so you. I'm gonna turn the uh, broth up a little bit uh, because after the broth gets heated, I'm gonna put this can of creamy chicken soup in it. And uh, I just pop, as you can see, we're using our Pamper Chef uh, can opener and uh, Mike went ahead and opened it. Now, normally, I would put some salt and pepper in this. <laughs> he opened it and he didn't take it off. I thought it was just hanging on there. Oh, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. So, um, an, if it was chicken and uh, dressing uh, or turkey and dressing, I would put some salt and pepper in this. But since it's not and it's yes, ham, yes. I'm not going to put any in there. But you can see uh, what it looks like. And I'm going to stick it in the microwave for six minutes and let that cook. Once we get this broth going, we'll move back over there to the... Uh, counter. Yeah, we just get this warm and start crumbing our cornbread. We're not making cornbread on the show. The cornbread recipe that I use is with the recipe, and I know Mary's made lots of yeah. cornbread. We make ours we make, just a yeah. little bit different. We make it a little bit different, um, but they're both good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, Linda's cornbread's good. 
And Daddy, when Daddy made cornbread, he always put sugar in his. You yes, remember? he did, and I still do, Linda. And he not made on my good dressing. cornbread. Not in dressing, but when I make regular cornbread, I do put a little sugar in it. I did for years, and do occasionally. But you ask me to put this yes, in here, please. But um, I'm like Mary said, we're not going to put sugar in cornbread, or I didn't put sugar in cornbread that I, I made for this. Mary, if you need a bigger spatula, this just be um, look in the drawer and. You can get you a bigger one. This will be fine. I uh, like this little mini spatula. I do too. I think we've mentioned this before. Mary mentioned it, but um, I used a recipe and a half of cornbread because I made a six inch skillet and our 10 inch skillet. And when it come out of the oven, um, I cut it so it would cool easier. And after it cooled, I put it in the refrigerator. Cornbread crumbles so much better when it's cold. So that's why it's cut in all kind of weird little shapes. You know what I had for breakfast this morning, girls? What did you have? A piece of hot buttered cornbread. Oh, that sounds good to me. <laughs> I love hot cornbread. Oh, and we're glad to have Carla with us today. Linda, yeah. little Linda is busy doing something else, so she's not here, but Carla's with us, and we're happy to have her here today. So, um, Mary, if you want to put some pepper in that, you can put okay. some black pepper now, in Now, do you want some water? Um, uh, we probably will need, out? yeah, we probably will need some water in that, too. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we've got the enamel cast iron roaster heating in the oven. Yes. And we're doing that because we're the dressing's going to need to cook close to 45 minutes. And um, maybe if you're cooking a huge pan and it's a lot thicker, it needs to cook longer than that. But we're cooking what, the amount that we cook should be done in about 45 minutes. You don't want dry dressing. No, no, no. You don't. Your dressing will be quite soupy. You don't when want you it to cut like you right. cut a piece of cake. No, no. And and they may think, Mary, that it's it's just too thin, but trust us, it's not. Right. Now you ready to put some pepper in there? I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in the cornbread, okay. but okay. you can shake some pepper in okay. that. Okay. I just put a little bit in there. Uh, but do you do that? Do you put your sage and pepper and stuff over in the dry cornbread? cornbread? I, I do, do too. I do. I wasn't sure if you did or yeah, not. Yeah, I do. I put the sage. I put before I put the liquid in there. I crumble it up yeah. with the cornbread so it will. And if I would have made this cornbread last night, which I didn't, I didn't get home till almost dark yesterday. I know that it's probably um, it's probably irrelevant to y'all, but when we film. It's an all day it's thing. An all day it's thing. we it leave is. early and we get home. Yeah. Now since the times change, it's going to be probably close dark. to dark when we yeah. get home. And I had a routine doctor's appointment yesterday, and I had to wait forty five minutes at the lab, and which um, you know I don't I'm I'm not a real patient person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but I did okay. I just <laughs> I just would a lot rather if I'd have been out of there about thirty minutes. Yeah. sooner the last time i was in there for lab it i was just in and out real quick i usually about, am. About 15 that's, minutes that's what just, surprised yeah, me yeah. she said they were short staff so yeah. you can understand that then i wanted to go by um ellis pottery and see um, what you find out about that it's five dollars a person to go through the um where they have it decorated and the lights. Where we per where you go in to purchase, it costs five dollars no, to get in there. It's where the pumpkins. Okay. It's where the pumpkins I was. That. I figured that. I didn't remember if they I charged never, last year or not. I can't remember. But them I can understand them charging. Well, of course, of they're, course, it's beautiful in you know, there. You know, they're. Um, no telling what all it cost uh, in decorating and the upkeep of it, and it's it's beautiful. Right. Is that about? Is that too much you water? Can, you can just kind of use your own judgment, Mary. Um, and you're gonna put some of that uh, toned chicken base in it too. Right? Oh, that's right. That's right. I do need to put some of that. Uh, and um, I could have mixed it in with the water, but it's all the same but, thing. Yeah. I just put a little bit of this in here. And we're using that silicone um, uh, whisk. But you can use metal utensils on these pots. Um, as a rule, I don't, but it's not because you can't. I right. just usually pick up yeah, the silicone I one do to too. do. I just want to be um, sure. Be so, um, extra um, protection. Right. And we've got our roaster in the oven heating. I won't open the door because after we get um, the cornbread crumble, we're going to take it out and put it over there. And Mary, this is something that, that I talk about on in the quick cooker. If you do, and we're not using the quick cooker now, and I hope y'all don't think I'm going from A to Z, 
But um, anytime you're preheating something like a boiler uh -huh. or the insert of the quick cooker or this roaster, it starts the cooking process a it lot does. quicker. Yes, it does. And because we try to hold our uh, lives to an hour, uh, sometimes we go a little over, sometimes we don't go an hour, but we try to hold it uh, to around an hour. And we want this to be done and show y'all. Right. Um, did we take the ham out of the uh, refrigerator? No, we? I didn't. Okay, so we'll need to take that out. And so this and you're soft, not sauteing, but you're steaming the uh, the celery and the onions. Yes. In the microwave. And I'm going to heat this up again in the microwave. These this is about um, well, it's about a not quite a half a bag of ham, and they're um, this is already cooked, pre cooked ham. And um, it's cut in kind of bite-sized pieces. Not, they're not any yeah. of them uniform. Right. But you don't want to pick up a huge hunk of ham when you're eating. So I try to make it to where. And I think Mama probably even cut her smaller. I think she did. I so she, she did. had a little bit smaller yeah. pieces. You can cut them however you want to. Okay, so I cooked this for six minutes. And um, and it's what it did is just soften the onions and celery. And um, I'm going to check it with a fork. But see if um, it's tender. Yeah, to see if it's remember it's gonna be cooking in the oven. Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. Um and if we need more broth, we can always add some more broth. I think I it's think tender. I think that's good. Maybe I'll cook it a couple more minutes just to be sure. Because we don't wanna now you wanna start crumbing the cornbread and then I'll turn this burner down because Yeah. I think this it never really has come to a boil, but do you boil it? It, I'd like for it to simmer, just okay. kind of simmer okay. is what I'd like for it to do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we can um, we can go over there and start. Um, and as soon as I get this done, I'm going to heat this. It's um, all um, yep, you got your all sage. It is a sage and black pepper. Okay. Okay. So you've got all that. Okay. All right. I'm on. Um. How's the volume? Good. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you. Uh, and. Um, yeah, we just, we don't want it to boil to boil over. We just want it right. to be hot. To add some more, we can get some more uh, juice or add some more water mm -hmm. to it. I'm thinking we may have to have a little bit more. But I'm thinking so, too. So, do you but think we I'm ought to go ahead and put some in there now? Um, you think you want some more broth or you want um, some water? It's pretty rich. I so think maybe, maybe add a, about just a little yeah. bit more of water. Because you got that tone yeah. in there. Yes. I'm going to put about another Cut. And when you have a ham, uh, you have pieces of ham left over for uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Don't throw that part of that ham away. You can you cut can some. Cut a lot of you meat can cut off some of good a bone. ham yeah. off of a bone. Right. And you know, just cut the gristle and the fat. You know, might want to eat any yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, so or the rind. But I've got. I think I've got this all pretty much cut um, to where it'll make a really good. Right. Uh, tasty ham dressing. And a lot of people told us they'd never heard of ham dressing, Mary. I know it. It's kind of odd because, you know, I make ham turkey pies, a, a pot pies. Ham dumplings. I Mama make, made ham yeah, dumplings. Yeah. We make, uh, we make just about whatever you're going to make with chicken, more or less, you can with make ham. with ham. Yeah. yeah. And we always had leftover ham because, yeah. you know, you sure don't want to throw yeah. away meat as, as, it, I've got a ham as it is. I cooked a ham for dinner. Uh, Sunday with some had beans. Linda Did you cook beans? With and it? I still I got the bone and the meat on it. I was thinking about this morning. I need to cook that ham bone, so I'm I'm probably going to cook a pot of beans with it. If I don't, that'd forget. be real good. <laughs> lima beans. I, that's what I'm wanting. With is some, some lima beans. Yeah, lima beans and um, my ham bone. So I'm going to take the chill off of that um, ham okay. just so we're not putting it in there in a hot pot and it's cold right, we want right, to kind of have right. everything kind of the same temperature so um as soon as i get this out of the oven i guess we'll go over there and start crumbling the ham okay. i mean cr crumbling the cornbread <laughs> i don't think you can crumble ham um another really nice day we had some fog this morning yes did we you did. have fog uh, yes yes and when i um was watching the weather um it said that the fog was real bad, so I left a little bit early in case. But I actually, it was pretty, it was, before I left Kilgore, it had kind of cleared out. Because um, I don't want to get in no heavy fog and not be able to see. But it was, 
The yeah. windows was all fogged up this morning. Fog could be an issue in East Texas right. this time of year. I think we need to turn this down. Okay. And, while we sit down and do the cause, just it's, let it just yeah. let it simmer. I'm gonna wash my hands that again. That cream of chicken has yeah. got milk in it, and it will yeah. boil over. Yes, it will. And we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Shouldn't take as long to get the cornbread crumble, and once that's done, I'll get the pot out of the oven, and we'll put it over here. And here's your. We oops. shouldn't. Yeah, I need Locking to wash mine too. Thank you, Mary. Uh -huh. Um. So. We're gonna crumble this cornbread, and this is uh, black pepper and rubbed sage that we're gonna put in the cornbread. Uh, and Mary, um, if they don't like sage, um, yeah. you can get poultry seasoning, yeah. which has sage in it. Yeah. But um, if you don't, put whatever spices you want in I it. Put we like bit, sage. Yeah, we, I do too. But and. I even put portrait seasoning in it too sometimes. With the sage, With the too. sage yeah. Okay, so now we, do you want this go ahead and put it in there while we're crumbling it or you wait till we crumble let's it? Let's crumble it first. Okay. And that way we won't have it all on our fingernails to start with. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. So y'all see I cut these pieces and no rhyme or reason, just cut pieces so I thought it would cool a little the, bit faster. The broth uh, softens it and it comes in pieces, but it's much easier if you crumble this cornbread yeah. first. And you don't want to get a big hunk but of no, cornbread you don't. that's not crumbled. I like a thick crust on my cornbread when I'm eating it, but in dressing, you don't want it, you want it crumbled up really small because yeah. you don't want to get no uh, crispy bite. So... Well, this is going to have some crisp in it because you know well, I cook mine a little crispier no, than No, yours. what I'm saying is whenever it's soaked in the broth, it right. will get soft. It will. Yeah. Mama, uh, I don't think she had much of a crumb on hers either, did she? Crust? Her, her cornbread when she was making dressing? No, it wasn't. I don't think it was. She, uh, she cooked it in that pan, you know. But got. now she she does, like uh, she did like a crispy crust. Did she? Yeah, she okay, did. Okay, well, I guess I... But I didn't uh, I'll that. tell you what makes a difference to make that crispy crust is the, that oil. The oil or the shor shortening yep. has to be hot when you pour your batter in there, and that will make a crispy. What it does, it fries the bottom, yep. and that's what makes that crispy corn bottom. And that, and I love it. And for anybody that's making cornbread and you're using whatever kind of pan you're using, was it Molly that always taught us? You could either have it cold or hot, but that, you can't it was, have it, it lukewarm. I think it was Molly that told us that. And I usually put, I usually cook my cornbread for my, for just regular cornbread in an iron skillet. Mm -hmm. My dressing, I don't. I put you it, one it them, in that pan. In that that pan. Did you know I got that pan? I know. You, you seen it I, yesterday? I, I yeah. Know. I got Mama's pan that she made her cornbread for dressing. For decades. And, yeah, I mean, it's old, but it's still good. It's got a little sticker, a little burned, burned off sticker label on it where Mama had her name because mm -hmm. she carried food in it to different churches and almost different everything occasions. she owned yeah, had her initials on it yeah i wished i'd had my initial on a few things i got lost <laughs> <laughs> was it ain't elsie that lost a dish one time and she had her they put their address or something on it to where it wouldn't wash off and um uh, she bought her another one Okay. And I don't remember it was that. two or three years later, I think it might have been when Uncle B J B died. Is that somebody right? brought that to her house with Is a dish right? in it? And Is it was that hers. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's easy to get things yeah. mixed yeah. up. Yeah. But uh, I remember her talking about it. That dish come back <laughs> home to her. I don't know if she kept it or not. Uh, She'd already maybe. bought her another one, but <laughs> In East Texas, people do that, you know, when there's a death or yeah. any kind of special occasion, they take yeah. food. That's what they do. Ain't, uh, Ain't Elsie come to my house for Christmas, oh, I don't know how many years ago. It was back, at Linda, it was the same year that me and you had lost all that weight. It was after Mama When died. was it? Right, and we had we had it out there. It might, we had it out the there in the car by the, yeah. by yes. the fireplace. Yes, um, What year was that? Do you remember? How, well, Mama I was traveling. Three. I was traveling, so it had to have been in it's about 03 or 04. 08, maybe? No. 07 Bobby or 08? Bobby died in 08. It was a long time before then. Okay, well, I was traveling because okay. I didn't lose that weight until okay. I was traveling. Okay. Yeah, and I was traveling. in Monrovia, California. I remember what I had on okay. when I wore home from the airport. It's been a long time. Anyway, Aunt Elsie, when she came to our Christmas, she brought 
I forgot what it was, in a dish, a nice little covered dish. And I washed it when we got through and told her, here's your dish. She says, I'm going to give you that dish. And every time I see that dish in my cabinet, I Aww. think of Aunt, Aunt Elsie. Aunt Elsie was a yeah. fabulous cook. Yeah, she was. All of Mama's sisters yeah. were. She, she brought me, she really gave me that cook. dish, and I just love it. I, and I'll tell you what, when I'm taking food somewhere, I do not use that dish. I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I do not want somebody to accidentally um, take it or, or me forget to get, get it. That That's the biggest problem is that I forget. Now, we've got three or four more pieces of cornbread in there. Do you want to put this in there, and let's see if we're going to need any more. If we do, can, we can crumble that other up. Um, or you, you think we let's need put it in the pan and see, yeah, okay, because ain't no use in using it. We're not gonna, okay, there's no point in us making a huge dressing. Mom, if they had a Mark Lowry, you Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I hope your day is filled with many, many blessings. <laughs> hi, Mark. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get. The Lord's good, and I watch. I watch his singing. He is a good singer. I watch it on the uh, with the quartet. Uh, I watch it all the time. Matter of fact, I put it on and listen to him sing and his little comics comments. So I'm gonna. Um, and yeah, you could put this in there whenever you're ready to, Mary. Okay. And here's here's the hang on. I'm doing one thing at a time, y'all. This is the spatula to make sure we get all the goodies out of there. And then, um, so you getting the pan out of the oven? Yeah, I am. And I'm wondering, so I don't have to pick that heavy pan up over there. I wonder if we should do it over okay, here. Okay, we can do that, Linda. I think that's what I'm going to do. We can so do that. Now I'm going to have to move all this stuff back. But, uh, <laughs> I can manage it, but it is heavy. Okay. And, um, this is our crumbled cornbread with our sage and black pepper in it. And we're going to go, go over here to the kitchen to mix it all together. Okay. She's going to get the, the big pot out of the oh, can. And I'm going to set it. I'm going to move this. And I'm going to set... Um, I'm going to set that pot up there, Mary, when I get okay. it in out of the oven. Yeah. This is some good broth. You want to get a picture of it, Linda, Carla? Sure. This is what the creamy chicken soup and the, um, the broth looks like that we're going to pour in over the cornbread. Okay, so this, this pot is going to be hot. Okay. I'm going to get it out of the oven and set it up here. And this is a 14 by 10 by 4 roaster pan. So we and don't, you don't touch oil, this. It's and hot. you don't oil yours either, do you? No, I don't I'm not either. Oil it. Okay, okay, so let's pour our. Um, okay. And then I'm going to pour this in here first. Okay, where's your big spoon? I'm going to just use this. Oh, uh, okay. The little boiler for the, um, for oh. the um, broth there. Oh, right. Yeah. And I'm thinking, Mary, that I guess we can put some stuff in here first. You Are can you tell that boiler's yeah. hot. Yeah, you can. I'm, I need another spoon. I'm not going to well, use that. Well, that's what I was thinking. I'm not going to use that. Um, yeah, I can tell you now we may need some more broth. Okay. I couldn't tell for sure. Might not, though. That soaks it up really it fast. It sure does. You would think that you wouldn't need that much broth, but you do. You want to bring the camera over and let, let them see how this is looking, Carla? Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and pour some ham, pour some ham, ham in here. Some ham pieces in it? Okay. Yeah. You can tell it's, it's really hot because right. it's sizzling over here. Just do not I'm touch that pan. A little bit over there. Okay. I'm gonna stir this and see how much more okay. of this we need to put in there. Ooh, that sure does smell good. This is some good eating, y'all. Oh, it is. And you make you're not gonna make it today, but she makes her own cranberry sauce too. Yes. And it is really good. 
I do. And I've got some in there, but I just no. just didn't because I had such a long right. day yesterday. I just didn't That's do okay. everything that I've I had already bought to me. Do. I've already bought me four packages of cranberries because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make my own cranberry sauce this year too. Now, Mary, if they have some ham left and they don't want to use it all in the dressing, this is great for omelets. Oh you yes, could, you could, absolutely. Um, kind of. Um, uh, cut it I in would strips. cut it, yes. I'd cut it in a little bit smaller pieces and add it to my right. egg mixture. And I'm going to be making a breakfast. Omelets, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm going to make a breakfast uh, quiche okay. pretty soon. Now, yeah. you tell me if you need some more. I'm thinking we need a little, a little bit, bit more, more, don't okay. you? Yes, I do. Maybe a cup. Okay. Or however much is left in there, I don't know. Well, it's more we than a cup. We may just use it all. Okay. The only difference is about putting more broth. It just has to cook longer. Yeah, it does. But it you can cook it till it'll all moisten into the cornbread. So now, pour whatever you think as I'm stirring okay. it here. It might not take it all because yeah. we do want to get this done before right. we go off air. Okay, maybe that's enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay. And y'all know what I'm going to do to the top of it, right? Well, you know I don't. I'm what are you going to cover it with black pepper. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> maybe See, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> maybe not cover it, but, yeah. uh, but since yeah. I'm not cooking for just us, but yeah. I am going to put some on it. Okay. So um, this will swell up some. And um, so this is going to be a pretty it's good a pot of pot. dressing. Yes, it will. So I'll go light on the pepper, y'all. Did you use a large uh, iron, cast iron skillet when you cooked your cornbread? I used a 10 inch and I used a 6 inch. It's okay. a batch and a half, okay. a recipe and a half of cornbread. Okay. So can they see that? Because I won't be able to hold it there for the camera. When I pick it up, I'll need to put it right in the oven. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Now, see, I told y'all at the beginning that this was heavy, and it is, but, but it's, it's manageable. doable. Yeah, yeah. And she's got you got celery and onions, yep. cornbread and ham and broth, chicken, cream yep. chicken. That's all. That's about what I do. Except I, I don't put the celery. You I put, put celery, celery salt. Or I celery put seed. cream of celery. Okay. Put you put cream and celery. Cream of celery. Okay. So I'm okay. gonna put this back in the refrigerator, and, and you then got about a. About a half okay, and I can three, use that. I can add gravy. some stuff to that and right, make, make some, some gravy. gravy. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash, and then we can go okay. over there and see if anybody's got okay. any questions. All right. I am gonna set the yeah. timer too. Uh, I. Uh, oh, it's just getting closer and closer to the holidays, and. I'm excited about, um, I'm going to start shopping pretty soon. I've already shopped a lot, but I mean, um, the little kids. I try to wait a little closer to Christmas to buy the little kids uh, things because they usually have uh, a good sale. And that's what I'm looking for to see what's going to be on sale this year for the kids. I'm just going to set that so we don't have to get up and... And I haven't started decorating yet for Christmas, but I'm going to... Um, I'm going to start putting my um, fall and Chris, uh, Thanksgiving um, decorations up. I mean, put them up, start to store them probably next week. Because, oh, you know what? Our food bazaar is next, next, fri next Friday, the 19th. The 19th so is our food fest. So you may have to wait a little bit longer. Anybody in the Longview uh, area, in the surrounding areas, on Oops. Friday, um, the 19th, the doors open at 10.30. We'll have uh, baked cakes, pies, cookies, uh, loaf cakes, uh, homemade yeast rolls, uh, frozen items, chicken spaghetti, chicken enchiladas, beef enchiladas, cornbread dressing. Those are all frozen uh, that we will have um, to purchase. And then we have homemade cream pies, coconut pies, chocolate pies. We make them fresh that morning, next Friday morning, and um, and we will have um, all kinds of other pies, too. Um, so if you're in the area, drop by and, um, and check us out. <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all be busy. We would be very busy. It's a very busy very day. Busy. So um, we got the dressing in the oven, and hopefully we'll have it done for y'all to see before we get through. Do we have any questions today? Um, there was one about um, when you use the cream of celery, do you use cream of chicken? I do. I use them both. I use them both. But but see, you have to understand, I make a lot of dressing. I use more cream of chicken than I do cream of celery. If I was use if I was cooking a pan a dressing that same size, I wouldn't I wouldn't use but a half a can of cream of celery. You're usually cooking. I'm cooking full a pan. full pan Pans, and I yeah. use one can of cream of celery and I'd use about three cans or maybe if you're using a large can like you did, I'd use a large and a small can. I use at least three cans of cream of chicken soup to to one can of cream of uh, celery. You're usually cooking for But I'm cooking a huge, people. I'm yeah. cooking a huge dressing when I do that. And yeah. what we're cooking today is actually more well, than what we need. Yeah. But right. it's still, we didn't want to cook just a little tiny pan because yeah. we wanted you to see how good it looks. So um, we are, um, we're, going to be having Thanksgiving here right. on Thursday right. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. and All the family couldn't come. Right. And so um, we just um, just decided that because people were uh, we're having Christmas at my house. Yeah, we we'll always have, Thanksgiving have Christmas at, your house. at Mary's always yeah. and it was just um, it's just too much um, you know turnabout's fair play. Well the kid that my kids loves coming over and here. They do. They love coming over here. <laughs> they love coming, and we over, love here. Them coming yeah. over here. Yeah. We do. And we'll probably sing a little bit. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. The girls, anyway, the girls can sing. I'm, I'm a has been, but <laughs> no, um, you still but sing. But we'll, good. we have fun. We just yes. don't sing like we used to. I know it. Things just changes, you know. We, we just don't. Well, we don't practice like we used yeah. to. You know, you stop using your voice and kind of, kind of use it or lose it. <laughs> I think your vocal cords, I don't know if they close <laughs> up or what. But, yeah. Uh, but it's certainly not like you were singing right. years ago, like we used right. to sing in church and right. go everywhere and yeah, sing. Yeah, we were singing all the time. And even when my kid, girls was growing up, we sang. Uh, uh, Carla can tell you, from the time we got in the car, going to church, and on the way home, all the way home, we'd be singing. Me we and did that when we were kids. Yes, we did. That's what we, we grew up doing. We sure did. We went to church somewhere on Friday night. We had church we Wednesday night, yep. Saturday night, Sunday morning, and Sunday night. Right. And if there's church anywhere else during the week, we found it and we went. We and enjoyed it. Didn't it. have to be Pentecostal. No. We went wherever. No. There was a church service going on. Um, I remember one time Charles and I went to the Nazarene Church in Nacogdoches. Mm -hmm. And then there was a little Baptist church, a missionary Baptist church across the house from us, across the road from yeah, us. Yeah. We went to that I mean, a lot. Vacation Bible school. We went over there every summer. And we went summer. to the Methodist church on, on Douglas Highway in the yeah, summer. We was, we was known as the Pinkston, <laughs> Pinkston kids and the Pinkston singers. <laughs> yep, we sure were. We were, Daddy always had the car filled up with gas. Yeah. Never complained. Of course, when Charles got old enough, he had his own car. But um, Daddy always, he did not mind us going to church because no. he, he knew we were, mm -hmm. you know, he was invested in a cause. And, and it wasn't like we were going to come home and, you know, he was going to throw a fit waiting on us. No, my Daddy wasn't like that mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. They were, he was happy for us to go to church. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh. And we enjoyed it. I mean, just, you know, we just couldn't wake him up when we come in. That was all. Yeah, we had know, to be we, very, very quiet because right, Daddy didn't Daddy sleep. sleep. Yeah. This was in later years after when we were big kids, after he had started to get sick. And um, we we always came in and never turned on a light. No. We, we did not turn yeah. on a light. And we didn't have night lights. And we didn't have, <laughs> we didn't have yard night lights either. It was dark. If it was... Yeah. If it was a dark night, we got undressed and got ready for bed well, in the dark. Because we came in, you know. I mean, it wasn't late, late, but, you know, we just didn't after want to. After church. Yeah, it was after church. And yeah. depending on where we were at. Right. Do you remember that time we went? I don't know where it was at. Charles, I imagine, knows. It was way down in the country. And y'all may not know this, but we are not. We Now, Mary was born on the farm in the little red house, but we grew up in town. Yeah. In the city yeah. limits. So yeah. we're... We are not, contrary to what some of y'all may believe, we are not country <laughs> bumpkins, even though I sound like one. Um, but this uh, place that we went, they didn't have a piano. We took an accordion. Charles took his guitar. And I think we might have carried the mandolin. 
we had several instruments in our in our house and yeah. our family yeah. and of course we had a piano but this little building and it was little you're going to remember I'm this when i tell you go ahead and tell me. they had cleaned out chickens from this building to have church in that night do you remember it little tiny building and we had church we had the guitar and the man was, was that was that at rosebud no was that? it was somewhere in the country and i couldn't tell you where it was at but i imagine charles knows i can't remember it linda i know we went to to the um Brush Arbor, where there is in Henderson at the we star. We went to Brush Arbor. It was a Brush Arbor that were, it was literally a Brush Arbor. <laughs> it was a dirt floor and it was limbs and trees for the covering it. It was uh, And they had one in, uh, <clears throat> at Aiken. At the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that before the church was built or was it no. they had service no. out there? No, and the church, the church was there. Was there. The church, I think, the church was already there. And that was, we I had, think, that was a camp meeting that they had the Brush Arbor in. It might have been because they did have camp meeting. Nathan and Connie probably could tell us that. I they don't probably they, they, because they actually went there a lot more than we did they because did. because that was they was I don't know they weren't from around there but they they were still there when we moved away. Right. So, so um, if you're familiar with East Texas, or if you're not familiar with East Texas. Um, you've got 59, which is a, a major highway that goes from Mexico to Canada. You've got 259, which is kind of runs parallel to 59. They run north and south. And uh, and then you've got your east highways, Highway 21 in Nacogdoches mm -hmm. goes east and mm -hmm. west. And then uh, which one is that in uh, Mount Enterprise? Is that 64 or 84? It's, it's 84. 60. It's 84. 64 yeah, it's 64 is Henderson. In Henderson, yeah. Henderson. 84, yeah. So... Um, you mostly when we were kids you know even north street was very small it yeah. wasn't a big street like it is right. now but you go across from um uh at sharina you uh, 95 crossed 21 mm -hmm. right there at sharina mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh if you went um south you went to the farm right right if you went That's north right. you went and cut across and and went, went over and met up Highway 7 at Martinsville, right. which was on the way to Aiken and Center. Right. So I remember Daddy trapped all, creeks yes. all up in here. And that wasn't the only place that he trapped. He trapped off the 21 West. We need we need to show him that trap sometimes. We do. We need I to got, get those out. Yeah, we, we got do. a trap. Steel traps. Where, yeah, where Daddy has his initials on them. Yep, Daddy had his initials on everything. And for some of y'all that may not understand this kind of lifestyle, he wasn't trapping for fun. No, he was trapping to provide for his and, family. And we sold the, he sold the hides and the meat. Right. Yeah. The, um, the, he, he would skin them or, uh, or whatever you call them. I don't know what you call it. But the, he, he did tanned all the that. hides. He, he tanned, tanned the, the hides. hides. He took them to sell at Whitaker's in Redcloth. And this was a way of life back, he, back right. then. And um, a lot of people did this to provide yeah, food yeah. on their table for their family. And Daddy was an entrepreneur. He yeah, he, yeah, he was. <laughs> he would find a way to provide what he yeah, needed for his yeah, family. So yeah. he fished and trapped. And he kept, um, was it a number three wash tub in the back of the car? What, to put his to fish, put, a, to, put his trap, to put his, the, uh, varmints. his varmints in. Yeah, yeah. If y'all don't know what varmints <laughs> are, varmints is what he caught. Yeah. Mink was the was the prime uh, catch, mm -hmm. and uh, minks had a real distinct odor yes, to them. Yes, it did. And he trapped minks, coons, um, fox. He trapped fox, yes, yeah. and he, he would the sell hides. the hides. Yeah. And this was back in the all through the fifties, mm -hmm. and in into mm -hmm. the early sixties until he got sick to where he couldn't yeah. trap. Um, he would go to Whitaker's. At least, and this was a little store in Recklaw. It was you went 21 West, and then you turned, and I don't know what the road is. You carried Mama down there, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I did. Uh, the store's not yeah, there anymore, yeah. but um, it was Whitaker's. It was a long frame building, it had a front porch. I on went. It. A, I went. I know I be, I went there, but I don't think I went that often with Daddy. You but I did didn't. go. I Do did you go. remember they the had apples fruits. he yeah, got? Yes. Fruit. He always and got apples. We didn't buy fruit on a weekly no, basis. We, we had fruit around the Christmas, holidays. Yep. Daddy always yep. bought a sack of oranges, and he got these apples. And 
I was a child, so they probably wasn't as big as what I thought they were, <laughs> but they were big apples, yeah. and they were so good. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Whitaker had a, a store in the front, and in the back is where he kept the hides mm -hmm. that he bought. And Mary, it was not unusual for Daddy to come away over with over $1,000 yeah. from selling that, hides. That's what it was. Daddy didn't go every weekly. To do these hides, he would... Um, he would skin them and then he would stretch them out. Mm -hmm. He he had a form. He, he made, built the frames. He, yeah, and he built and he put these hides on it, and then they have to dry out. What you call tan, and I guess is what you call it, because all that has to dry off. Yeah. All that fat that's right next to the skin, it has to be dried, and before it's uh, anyway, it's a process. It's a process. So he would he would save them up and just take a, a lot over there at the same time. And Pinkie Pie would go with him, and yeah. Pinkie Pie would take his hides and um you know you're talking about in in the early 50s even in the late 50s that's and early 60s money that's, thousand dollars twelve hundred fifteen dollars yeah. that was a boatload of money yeah. back then yeah. that was a lot of money yeah. and he did it every year for yeah. as long as yeah. i can remember it was seasons that he did the trapping yeah. and that was in the winter time yeah. yeah and um um he he um he knew he had these traps you know he, he put the traps along creek Creek beds. That's yes, where they. Yes, that's where the um, yes. the animals came, and that's where he would set the traps. He would camouflage them so, um, you know, they they would uh, not see the traps. Yeah. And again, um, no no bad uh, stuff on here about this trapping because we lived in that a was, different time than we do way today. Of, of living. It yeah. was it was not just my daddy and Pinkie Paul that did this. Everybody. Many many that's many. That's why people Daddy in had Texas his initials on his traps. Because people stole them. There yeah, was people who steal, steal them. them. And um, uh, he had this little kit that had all the alphabet in it. They were little metal sticks. Do you have that? Does, does Charles have that? I don't who has know that? if Charles or Edward has it. I hope one of them has it. I do it. too. I and do a little too. tiny hammer. Yeah. And you you hit that on metal. It had mm -hmm. to be on metal. Mm -hmm. And it like made the spikes. indention. Yeah. Yeah into yeah. whatever you were he had yeah. them on his boat yeah he had them on everything remember well he had to have tags on his traps too yeah he, he had to have, he, he was, had to, he was legal he was legal he had, he had to have trapping. traps in fact i've got yeah. his trap trapper's license do you yes i do yeah. Yeah. He um to. he um he put his initials on the bottom of his aluminum boat remember and oh, remember when somebody stole it? I just, I don't remember the details about it, but I know that he had things stolen before and he'd recover them because he had his name right. on it. And he, uh, when his boat went missing, he was always, my daddy was real keen. He was a smart man. Yeah. And he would always check if he saw a boat that looked like his. And he was down at the Toyak River, down by Malls, the mm -hmm. farm. Mm -hmm. And he saw this boat mm -hmm. turned over where mm -hmm. somebody had, you know, been been using it. And or not turned over, yeah. but he turned it over right. and looked, yeah. and he saw his initials. Yeah. And what do you think he'd done? He called. He, he called, called the game, game warden. warden. Yep, he sure did. One of the laws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he told him. He said, "Now, Cecil." He said, "This, you know, there's a lot of boats that look like this." Daddy said, "This is my boat. You yeah. turn it over, and it's got C R P on it." Yeah. And the guy turned it over, yeah. and there was my daddy's initials, yeah. C R P. Yeah. Yeah. And he got it back. Yeah, yeah. He got I it back. Know. I know. He sure did. Well, um, times has changed, you know, things, you know, when you're make, when you're back then, you just did what you could to right. make, to make there a was living. No, there was no internet. There was a lot of, uh, of course, there was no internet. We had party line phones and there was, um, remember the first TV that daddy bought? It was round. It was a it was cover, round. wasn't it? I think it, it might have been. It was a cabinet with the yeah. round, with the round picture. It's black and white, of course. It only got like one or two yeah. channels. Yeah. And, and uh, we watched round, it like round picture. once or twice a week, maybe. We, yeah, we didn't watch it much. <laughs> we watched Father Knows Best, yeah. and we watched uh, Bonanza. Yeah. I don't know what, when Bonanza came out, but I think we watched Bonanza. Bonanza and maybe Rawhide or something. Maybe Roy Rogers. I was in love with Roy okay. Rogers. <laughs> He, <laughs> I just had a crush on him. I was just a kid, but I had a crush on Roy Rogers. <laughs> Long before um, the TV came into play, they listened to the radio. Remember mm -hmm. Pinky yes, Ball always yes. listened to the radio? Had that radio on all the time. And Pinky Daddy Ball. loved wrestling. Yeah. Well, and I, he well, I would watch that. wrestling matches. I mean, listen to wrestling, wrestling matches on the, on the radio. He sure did. Uh, um, he would listen to them. And 
Pinky Mall couldn't hear good, but she kept the radio on. She kept it on. With preaching on her, what she listened to. Yes, she did. she did. I can just hear Pinky (laughs) Mall. Mary, you can't hear that. Turn that thing off, Mary. (laughs) Pinky Mall and Pinky Mall, you know, we live right beside them. But they cared on all the time. They loved each other. They they fussed. funny to us. It was. It was just funny. Because we could sneak up on them because we live right next door and they would just be at it. And how many uh, orange or grape soda pops Pinky Mall had drank all day when she'd tell him he needed some more, that she needed some more. He said, Mary, what'd you do with all them drinks? You already drank all of them. <laughs> they just went at each other it all so the time. It, it was, was it was fun living next yeah, door. Yeah, it though. was. It was. It was real fun. Mm. Okay, let me see. How did we get any more questions since we've been um, talking? They, they want you to repeat the question. They can't hear me. There's oh, okay. one that's uh, um, Aloha from Hawaii. Okay. They want to know what your age difference. Is. Okay. Okay. All right. From the lady from Hawaii. Uh, hi. Thank <laughs> you for watching. Uh, the age difference is 17 months. I'm 75. She's 73. Yes. We're very close. And then they want to know, repeat the question because they can't hear me as well. Uh, what side dishes do you serve with your ham dressing? Okay. The dishes that we, the side dishes that we serve with cornbread dressing, I'll tell you a couple of them. Um, I like the candied yams with my yeah. dressing. I like candied yams, sweet potatoes, and um uh, I can t- name a bunch of them, but go ahead. What, uh, what do you uh, well, think? Well, I, I, you have to have mashed potatoes and gravy yeah. with dressing, and then uh, some kind of a green, green beans, beans, green beans, uh, corn, a, a corn casserole, corn casserole is broccoli excellent casserole, with it. broccoli and rice casserole. And that's um, what we serve for Chris for the holidays. And we usually. pretty much cook the same thing. Yeah, every we, do. Year. we do. We do. But what was it? It was something. I made a broccoli and cauliflower salad, which we're going to be doing later on. Um, I don't know. It's, I think it's this month that we're going to do that. That's a new recipe. Well, no, it's not a new one because um, Linnell, my sister-in-law, our sister-in-law, made this for Christmas a few years ago. And ever since, I like it. But we're, uh, that's something that I'm going to start having with our... Um, I'm going to grab a plate down here. With our... Um, Christmas dinner, and let's see, uh, my grandkids always want a broccoli and rice casserole. They love my broccoli and rice casserole. I always make a corn casserole, they love. And um, we Make-a-lo sometimes we noise. have chicken and dumplings, you know, and um, and like Linda said, Linda's a mashed, she's a potato girl, so she likes mashed potatoes and gravy. And um, Candy yams, I love candy yams, and and I fix candy yams a lot of different ways, and um, I um, I slow cook them. I put orange juice, orange slices, pineapple slices. I just make it all different ways. Oh, that's it's right. You made a pumpkin pie, didn't you? It's uh, sweet potato. Sweet potato yeah. pie. Yeah. And we love the sweet potato pies too. Kind of really better than the pumpkin pies. We and like I haven't taken cake. pictures of this yet, and well, I you actually need to. Take a need to yeah, but um, I want to take a picture of it cut too. We're going to be okay. doing this um, on we, the show in um, in is December. Is it December? Yes. You're going to do sweet potato pie. Okay. Okay. Cut a piece, right. and okay, we'll taste of it. Right. I think it's had time to cool. Oh, did you make this this morning? Yes, I did. Well, you made one uh, the other day too, didn't you? No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> I was going to. I just never did get to it. I cut a real small piece. That's fine. Is that We're okay? just going to taste of it. And so if, for everybody that's wanting to ask about this, this is on the um It's going to be hard to get it out. December. I made it so small. That's okay. I made the um, I made the slice so small I couldn't get that point out. Yeah, it probably, it probably can set a little bit longer. And you may not even want to taste it. I do I want to know, taste it. I do want to taste it. I love sweet potato pie. It's delicious, Linda. And I'm not going to tell y'all how it's I made delicious. it. It's delicious. But this is made a little different than... Um, and you'll be doing that in December. In December. It's made a little different than a regular sweet potato pie is, and they'll mm, find that out. It is so good. I know what you've done. You might tell me. It is good. I mean, it might not be exactly what you're mm-hmm. thinking, but I... It is delicious. I love that. Ooh, My preference so is sweet potato over pumpkin. I do too. Me too. Uh, that's too. what we grew up with, yeah. the sweet potato yeah. pies. 
And yeah, I, I like just love sweet potato pies. And I like them cold. Do you yes, put them in the refrigerator I, I and get yes, them cold? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. That's what do. I like is I like them cold. Yeah. So do we have any more questions? Okay. okay. Did they hear us when we said about the uh, creamy chicken soup while ago? Okay. Uh, yeah, I love that. I, you know, <laughs> I can eat that high fat pie. <laughs> I love that sweet potato pie. But candied yams, um, I fix them all different kind of ways. Uh, Mother, she always candied hers. Yes, she, she did. She peeled, she cooked them in the oven and poured a a, a, a corn syrup, a syrup over the potatoes and baked them. She cooked After them three she fried different them. times. Yeah. Yes. She boiled them, fried them, and then baked them. Yeah. And, and they uh, are out of this world. We usually don't have time to do that at our on our Christmas day. So in the past, I've just put them all in a pot and put all that goodies and flavorings and fruit in it and cook it and let it cook down. And Mary, that recipe is in our cookbook, Mama's Candy Sweet Potatoes. Oh, that's right. It, it is. is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Y'all excuse me. I'm going to eat another piece of And mine. also, uh, uh, there's been a lot of people ask about, uh, say, in our cookbook, uh, the website said that they were out of cookbooks. It's fixed now. It, it was a mistake. Uh, we do have cookbooks. Inventory is updated. Inventory. Yes, it is. So... Um, and we'll be at the um, Friday, we'll, no, Saturday, we'll be Surf in Henderson Festival. at the Syrup Festival. And I was seeing advertised this morning in the news that um, they actually have it set up a, a, a word that show you how to make sugar cane syrup oh, at well, the festival. So I mean, you know, as long as I've lived in Henderson, every year when that comes this comes up, I don't get to go. I've never been either. And I mean, I'm I really been. am excited about going and. And, and seeing it. Daddy loved syrup. He loved sugar syrup. Cane yes, syrup. He, he did. loved it. Yes, he did. In fact, he ate syrup just about every day. Yeah, meal. he liked syrup over his cornbread. He ate he syrup. syrup. He loved syrup. <laughs> he liked he it. He did. And I just checked that dressing, and it is not going to be done in nine minutes. <laughs> So, I can tell you, I cook my dress in an hour, hour and a half. I do. I cook yeah, my dress gonna, in a it's long gonna time. It's going to need to cook several more minutes. So we may just want to come back and take pictures, take pictures and put it okay. on there okay. um, after, you know, after it gets done. The more broth you have in it, the longer it takes, but it makes it better. It it's, does. It makes it, it better. It makes it much better. And so that's something you have to think about when you're cooking for the holidays. You need to allow enough time for that dressing because, trust me, there's been a few Christmases that we <laughs> was waiting on the dressing. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the we oven used, was in yes, use. Yes, the we ovens. We couldn't put the dressing in until the last minute. And we for the dressing to be in there last, and we'd be waiting on it because it takes a long time when you when you cook it like that. It does. So... So, um, um, any other questions? Okay. okay. Tell about your website. Okay. Uh, well, our website is um, www.pinkmallskitchen.com. And um, you can go on there, and, and uh, we have things that you can purchase, or you can go to the bottom of it, and it has contact. If you need to contact us about anything, you hit contact, and that is that sends an email to directly to the, Pinky Malls. They have to create the email, but it brings the email up for right. them to create right. it. Right, right. And um, our Christmas list, we still got that open. For you, that's how you contact oh, yes. us about the Christmas uh, wish list. That's if someone um, is in need of kitchen items, uh, you uh, you nominate someone else, not yourself, because you know we won't. I don't know, you know, I don't know how to to say it. We're not trying to. Uh, everybody could use kitchen items in, in my book because right. we love kitchen stuff. But if you've got know of a family that that has children and are are a single parent uh, that has been kind of down on their luck, maybe had a house fire or some kind of uh, the flood loss, lost their house right. in the flood. Did you know? Did you hear about the house fire in, in Harleton last night? No, I didn't. There there was a house fire in Harleton last night. A woman and her two boys. I don't know the ages yet. I sent an email, not an email, but I sent a text to ask what their sizes were. But their house burned last night right here in no, Harleton. I, didn't I know think that. some of your friends knows them. Uh, okay. So um, if somebody like that, you know, um, we. We need, we'd like to help someone around the Christmas holidays. Um, but send us an email if you know someone. And in the email, on the subject line, be sure to have the first word be Christmas. It's yes. Christmas wish list because 
that's that will call our attention to get to read that email and put it into a file where um, we can get to it easily. So we don't lose right. lose it in the other right. hundreds of emails. We're that just we going to send them some pamper shelf uh, kitchen items for um, around. I don't know. I think I think all the entries has to be in by December the first. Yes, and we will give it away and announce the one who who um, who we selected on December the ninth. Isn't um, that right? Yes, because we need to yes. have it mailed. We, by, yes, um, we need um, to have it mailed by the very next day yes, in order to in <laughs> for order you to get, get it before Christmas. So, so um, was there any other announcements that we were supposed to make? Um, I think that's it. Um, just um, any other. I think that's all. <laughs> I didn't write them down. We'll be back I at Mary's have. tomorrow yeah, at we'll 10 o'clock. I'm, yes, I'm calling about another internet service. I'm telling you, I, um, I, my internet, I don't know what happened, but I got an email saying that I had used all my data, and I have unlimited data, but that's what happened to our video yesterday. So I didn't have any data, and so that's why the video was kind of a little off and on. But um, I'm, I'm looking up another internet person so we're gonna if if we if my internet is not back on to, uh, right tomorrow I'll be we'll be at Linda's house okay we'll be okay. at Linda's because we're not we're not going to go through that again yeah, that was it's, bad it's very so, disheartening when you work so hard yeah. and then it's um, you know people can't hear us it's yeah. happened over here before yeah. well before we finally got it hopefully figured yeah. out well I'm gonna what what I want to do is call my neighbor and see how because I I was told that she uses this certain internet service, and I'm calling her today when she gets off from work and ask if she gets good service through them. And if she does, well, then I'm, I'm definitely getting a different carrier. Okay. So. Okay. Well, we appreciate everyone joining us. We're right at an hour, and we'll get back on and take pictures when the I'll dressing dressed. gets done, and be, there'll be still pictures, and you'll be able to see them. And um, we hope that. Um, uh, we hope y'all liked what we did today and uh, go to our website and check us out um, and see what you think. We love y'all. We appreciate all you followers and and all your love and and support. We yes. appreciate you. Don't forget to count your blessings because the Lord is good to all of us. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.